And I think when people think about our industry, they think about these like celebrities on the red carpet and we think of A-list actors that we know. And we don't think about the working actors who really are, I think, the heart of this industry in so many ways. Jenna Doolittle. I joke that I'm a Doolittle who does a lot. I'm an actor and I'm also a career coach for actors. I am an actor advocate and I create the Actors Rise newsletter. It started really early on in the pandemic. I was getting a lot of panicked text messages and phone calls from friends, freaking out basically because everything that was happening in the industry was really scary. Not only were people losing their jobs in production, actors losing jobs on set, but also people were losing their jobs as waitresses, as photographers, um, catering, all those side gigs that made it possible for them to survive. And also we were scared for our health, just like everyone was. I just wanted to help in some way. And I remember I was sitting at my kitchen table with my husband and I just looked up at him and I was like, what do you think about me sending a newsletter? And he said, do it. So I sent the first one to 36 people in early March and it kind of just grew from there. People were forwarding the newsletter to each other, to friends. People were posting about it in different Facebook groups and the word just kept spreading. Part of the mission with the newsletter was really to provide free and extremely low cost resources to actors during this time. I think people really wanted information on unemployment in the beginning and also just financial well-being, like grants, things that the Actors Fund were doing. And then also everybody really wanted info on the open calls that casting directors were offering. A lot of casting directors really wanted to give back to actors because they knew that we were struggling and so they were offering opportunities for us to put ourselves on tape so that they could get to know us. And there were so many happening and like they were coming through Instagram and through Actors Access and through all these different places and it was really hard for people who were A, just trying to survive trying to comprehend the pandemic, people with kids trying to juggle homeschooling and all these things to keep track of where these open calls were coming from. So I was just trying to put all of this information in one place so that people could know, okay, if I open the Actors Rise newsletter, it'll have the information. You just saw so many casting professionals take the time to answer actors' questions, whether it be through an Instagram Live or through a Facebook Live or through workshops that they were offering or classes. It was really amazing to see, because there was a lot of love. And I think that's one of the things that came out of this pandemic was just like how much love the industry professionals had for the actors, which I think a lot of the times we feel like it's like them versus us, right? But I really felt how much care there was and empathy and it went both ways, and that was such a beautiful thing. It's really cool because there is this community and it's not just actors in Los Angeles, it's actors you know, in New York City, in Atlanta, in Canada, all over the world, there are people which blows my mind. What I loved seeing was just how the actors also started to really support one another and it wasn't just like, me giving them some information. They were like sharing information with me, sharing information with each other so that we were all in it together. For years, our industry set us up to kind of be like, it's a competition, right? Like if you don't get the part and they get the part, then they're better than you. People are really starting to say, no, let's work together. And that's why I called it Actors Rise because it's not you versus me. We're just a bunch of actors or agents or managers or casting directors, but we're all in this industry together and we can all be friends.